That's right. Mrs. Fleming Cascadia is the third largest tennis academy in North America. Our experts will bring your son's game up to the stratosphere. Agassi, Connors, McEnroe, all the great ones have played our courts. Your son will learn to love Cascadia's high-tech training facilities. Our delicious meals. And of course, our friendly staff. Yes, Mrs. Fleming, here at Cascadia, your son will be treated like gold. Give it a chance. Come okay, stop the car. I'm serious, Dad. You okay? I can't do this. We have nothing in common. I mean, I drink at Puccino's. I thought the Williams sisters were country singers. That's your mother talking. Maybe I should have stayed with her. Hey. Come on, Cody. I thought you Montrealers were into tennis. Only the sports streaks. These kids aren't freaks. They got a lot more going for them than you think. Oh, come on, Dad. They're gonna hate me. No, they're not. You know, I've been at this school all year. I think I know them just a little bit better than you do. I know them just fine. Bunch of spoiled, rich kids afraid to get their hands dirty. Megan? Come on, Megan! You can do it! Come on, Lead. Megs, I can't believe we're actually ahead of the boys. Hello, Cascadians. Just a reminder that after this week's orientation face-off, you're all invited to trade in your tennis rackets for paddles for the annual Lake Memphis Canoe Race, which will be held a week from today. Sign up at the sports complex. Oh, like the season's crop is defective or something. I guess they're no real men anymore. This may well be the year we finally smoke the boys. <laughs> really? So, what were you trying to tell me back there? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> McEnroe versus Borg. Agassi versus Sampras. 
All interesting matchups in their day, but all pale in comparison to this season's orientation face-off. Proud of you today. And now the score, heading into the final round. For the guys, 83 points. Nice. And for the girls, 87. <laughs> Which brings us to our final challenge for five points. It's winner take all. Are we ready? Yeah! Are we ready? Excuse me, Coach Gutterson. I'm sorry to crash your party. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce the newest member of our fine International Academy. Everyone, I want you to welcome one of Europe's hottest new prospects, the tennis prince himself, Sebastian Dubé. Ooh. Sebastian is the latest of our European contingent, and he hails from La Belle, France. Well, tell him he'll need soap. Hey, it hails from La Belle Drugstore. <laughs> Watch, Mr. Furlong. Besides, Sebastian has opted not to partake in your games this afternoon. Looks like I made the right choice. What, too good for us? Save it for the courts, boys. He's so cute. Like, James Dean meets Prince William meets something French. Bates never introduces a new student himself. It's like. Bates is his personal assistant. I'll bet his dad is royalty. Or at least an ambassador. He's a weasel, a fussy, jet-setting freak. Get lost, Squib. Hey, 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 I just came here to wish you all luck. And may the best man win. Or women. Exactly. All right, on your marks. Get set. for body strength. Do you know what you just did? Wait, it's just a game. It is not just a game. Now thanks to you, we're stuck in Alcatraz. What are you talking about? We were playing for our dorms. Girls res versus guys. And now thanks to you, the boys nab the castle and us girls get stuck in the swamp. Whatever. I don't even live in the dorms. Then what are you doing here? I bet I know. You're Dr. Meyer's daughter, aren't you? You live in that deluxe faculty residence? That's why you wouldn't tell us your last name. You're not even a player. I try to tell you. Apparently not hard enough. Enjoy your crappy door, ladies. <laughs> Come on, guys. Is this your first day? Yeah. You? Same. Weird school, huh? I guess. So, you a writer? Sort of. Well, you either are or you aren't. Then I guess I am. Don't let them get to you. Enjoy the fruits of our labor, men! Yeah. Yes! Nice! Good job! Now, to divide the spoils, 12 is furthest from the bathroom, but it's got a window. 18's got extra floor space, but, uh, of 
course, then there's only two. <laughs> hey guys, uh, what you doing? None of your business, right? Because if this is a territorial dispute, Chapter 3, Clause A of the Cascadia Chronicle clearly established that all... We get it already. The hat decides. What's going on? Trivia! It's uh, an old Cascadia tradition, see who gets the best room. So how about it, Frenchie? <laughs> yeah, I'll pass. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, you see there, sweet cheeks. Not very welcoming, now are we? Huh. Is that President Bates I see? He's looking for something to kiss his butt. I'll be back. <laughs> Mr. Bates! Now, unless anyone has an objection, I say new guy gets first question. Winner, French Open 1983. Yannick Noah. Don't insult me. You're the new girl, huh? Cody Myers, right? The name's Rick. Rick Geddes. You can call me Rickers. Or Rick. That works too. So, is it true that you don't play tennis? Because there is a lot this school has to offer. Rick, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling very sociable right now. Well, that's good, because I love to talk. We've got a first-rate book club. We've got a, a killer uh, lawn bowling association, a weekly d and I'm even trying to orchestrate a wolf owl. There are no wolves here, Rick. It's a work in progress. No offense, Rickers, but I'm not much of a club girl. Well, that's too bad. Uh, I saw you writing earlier. It uh, would have been nice to have an outsider's perspective for the Chronicle. The Chronicle? School newspaper. We're always looking for new talent. Students read it rigorously. They do, huh? Oh, it's the best way to make yourself heard. Now, if you'll just please excuse me, uh, Trivia's calling. Cody Myers, photojournalist, on exclusive assignment for the Cascadia Chronicle. The mission? To study everything possible about the peculiar species that inhabits Cascadia, the jock, or as it's known in Latin, Studentia joculus. The Studentia joculus, commonly identified by rippling muscles, sweat marks, and bacon games. Their diet consists mostly of bland pasta, sprouts, and a wretched substance they call the hyperbar. Bathing habits are group efforts involving strange colored liquids. Such a fragile beast of these studentia joculus. Indeed, one of the rarest of pleasures is the sound of a sweet, sweet song. Next. John McEnroe. Number of Grand Slams. Seven. <sighs> Correct! Yes! Okay, this is to stay in the game. The match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs drew in a record crowd. What famous stadium did this take place in? L'Astrodome. L'Astrodome? <laughs> Sorry, bub. It's Astrodome. You lose. Yes! Mm, mm, mm. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very funny. It's just, um... What? Well, are you sure you want to submit this? I mean, it, it might not go over too well. Exactly. Let this go off like a bomb, see if I care. These jocks should see what their lives look like from the outside. And if they can't laugh at themselves, then what's the point, right? Yeah, I don't want to sound like a drag, but, um, you know, these kids are under a lot of pressure. Like I said, it might not go over too well. <sighs> we'll soon find out. Um, this is my first piece, but it would mean so, so much to me if you could print it. Consider it done. Thanks. My, what a splendid sleep I had in that huge room of mine. <laughs> that yours? Oh, what? What's the matter? This thing special? Wow! N9 Sun 2000. I, I haven't seen one of these since, uh, mm, the early 90s. <laughs> Give that back. She handles nicely. I said, 
Give that back. For something you probably paid two bucks for, the Sally Ann. <laughs> Never joke about my racket. Take it easy. You got something to say to me, then say it. Never been much of a talker. One more stunt like this, you're all back in the swamp. I'm sure the girls would be happy to trade places. Is that understood? Is that understood? Now you all know how we settle things around here. He's right. Back court, 12 o'clock. You're on. So what's the wager? I'll take your room. I'll take your tennis racket. Might make good scrap metal. Your whole room versus my little racket? Hardly seems fair. Something you should know about me. I like to take the hard road. But then I guess it's a deal. You're going down. Didn't know you were a photographer. I dabble. Anything good? Cody, these are amazing. You think so? Totally. Adina's got to see these. Come on. <laughs> Look at Squib. What a freak. Gotta admit, though, nice butt. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these belong in an art gallery, or at least the Cascadia Chronicle. Hey, I heard you were writing something for that. Is that true? Showdown at the back court! New guy in Squib! You shoot good. Ditto. So I got the big room, huh? They tell me I'm gonna need a roommate. You in? I've done nothing but rag on you since you got here. Something you should know about me. I like to take the hard road too. What are you, from some 40s look or something? It's all done by computers now. You know what I mean. Stop the article. Okay, okay, yes, you're right. My motives weren't exactly in the right place. Maybe I wanted to embarrass them, and maybe I was even a little jealous. But, but what I've seen in these last couple of hours has changed all that. Oh, please, please, please let me take back my article before I'm a social pariah. You're too late. What? Sorry, it's, it's already out. How many copies? 160. Where are you going? Come back inside. I have tea. Long days feel so wrong. Days write another song. Days creeping along. Days tell me how you feel. Is it gonna be real? We are living our lives, but we don't know where all the years have gone. Gonna sign on the road up ahead. It's the same. Gonna tell.
us what direction we should go on this day. There's so many of us staring at the sun. 157, 158, 159. Wait, there's one more. The Studentia Joshua, <gasps> commonly identified by ripply muscles, sweat marks, and naked gaze. Their diet consists mostly of bland pasta, sprouts, and a wretched substance they call the hyperbar. Bathing habits are group efforts involving strange colored liquids. Such a fragile beast, the Studentia joculus. Indeed, one of the rarest of pleasures is the sound of its sweet, sweet song. Awesome! Funniest article ever. <laughs> Cody! Oh. Okay. So my dad was right. There's more to these people than meets the eye. Took me a while to figure it out, but I got it now. Life is complicated. Sports are simple. And something about that is kind of cool. promise to lay low, just until they get to know me. You don't know how snobby these people are. I know, I know, Sebastian. But I wanted to give you this. Arnie's Burgers doesn't pay much, but it should get you through the week. If I had a cell phone, this would be so much easier. I wish we could afford one. Maybe once you make your millions. <laughs> huh? Huh? Maybe, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Hey, anything for my star. Allez, vas-y. Allez, bon. <laughs> 